Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the dangers of using the Knife Project tool um, by basically demonstrating how I messed up pretty hard on this model, so hopefully you guys won't run into the same mistake. So right now we're taking up the wireframe of the back of the television set, and uh, if you look at it just from here, and let's hit Hab to actually get into edit mode, it doesn't actually look all that bad at first glance. Um, most of these lines, you know, they're straight just like a TV would be. There's a couple flaws in here, like these uh, lines that are connected to these circles. But what the real issue is, and uh, all these circles, by the way, were created using the Knife Project tool, is that whenever you create one of these little circle cutouts, um, so that you can basically extrude it back to create uh, kind of like a circular crevice inside of your model, or what do you need? is that you're actually creating N-Gons, which is a face with more than four vertices, uh, whenever you do this. So in face select mode, I select this. How many vertices are actually on this face? Well, if you count everything up here, combined with all of these vertices going around this circle, um, a lot. <laughs> That's probably like 20, 30, maybe even 50 in that face. Uh, kind of same thing going over here. It doesn't look so bad on the left and up there, but as soon as you get down here to the circle, you're dealing with something like um, 12, 13 vertices on one face. Now, um, it, it's going to be misleading though. So let's get out of edit mode. If we look at it in solid mode, um, with the exception of this little area over here, it doesn't actually look bad, right? Like you can't really tell because uh, you don't have the rendering going. We even go to textured mode, and well, it looks a little dark there, but uh, can't really tell any issues. And in material mode, which is getting even closer to that rendered, it still looks pretty much fine. It looks like a television set. But here's where it becomes an issue. It's where you're rendering, and light is actually going to be bouncing off of those ingons that have five or more vertices, and you get these really weird, I guess we can call them light dynamics, in these faces, because there's such weird faces that have like 13 vertices, um, I guess Blender doesn't really know how to handle that in the way that we want. Um, so really, we would want um, polygons with four, uh, four vertices, um, that's kind of the standard, or um, at least triangles or something like that, but these faces that have a huge number of vertices, they just cause things to go really out of whack really fast. And uh, of course I've read up that it's bad for uh, animation, of course. How are you supposed to uh, animate a face that has 13 or 14 vertices correctly? Because um, you move one vertice and it's going to kind of mess up everything. Uh, so, the kind of Thing I just want to point out in this video is to be careful about using the knife project. Uh, if you are going to use knife project to cut out interesting shapes out of a plane, out of um, basically any other shape, be aware that knife project is going to likely cause these weird ingons and you're going to want to have a solution for resolving that as you create them. Um, in this case I kind of waited till the end of the model and now I'm going to be paying for it, uh, having to fix this might even take a couple hours or something like that, or just needing to do a complete retopology of the whole thing. So that's my mistake. Anyway, be careful if you use the knife project tool. Um, it is nice in that you can get exactly the shape you want in exactly the right spot on any face, any surface, but be aware of these ingons. So don't let it get out of hand like I did, and I hope this helps you guys out. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future Blender videos.